What is up folks? Welcome to another edition of Billy the Kid's No Bullshit Toy Reviews. Today we are taking a look at DX9's Capone. This is their masterpiece Motormaster offering and he is fucking wild. Uh, a lot of heft, a lot of weight. It looks big, but in hand, this big trailer really isn't as uh, much of an eyesore as it is in the photographs. He rolls very well, has excellent clearance in regards to that. So, I mean, yeah, he's jackknifed, but still, it's excellent. Uh, the sculpt is on par. I mean, it looks just like Motormaster. Needs some Decepticon decals, but uh, we, we can handle that. Uh, the front of the cab is gorgeous. I really don't know what else to say. I mean, it's a truck mode, it's, it's big. So for accessories, he comes with this beetle and it's pretty awesome because if you ever saw the episode in Gen 1 Cosmic Rust, uh, this here is your problem and cure. It turns into a weapon for his Menasaur mode. Speaking of Menasaur, look at the size of this fucking sword. This is his sword for Menasaur. Now this this Motormaster is about 23 and a half inches long. And this sword, I'd say is somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 inches long. So that is wild. He comes with Motormaster's pistol, as well as Motormaster's classic sword. The doors, open very easily and it looks like you could fit a masterpiece spike or spark plug inside wheels are rubber so that's a nice touch not a hard plastic and uh, the smokestack exhausts they retract if you would like them to there's a little metal tab here that you use to pull them up all in all the truck mode of this beast is pretty awesome. I'd say it's, uh, this is where MP10 would come. So you've got a good six or seven inches extra trailer, but it looks really good in person. I'm going to get into the bot mode and, uh, I'll let you know my thoughts. Um, really quick before I transform him into his robot mode, this is the cab section. I forgot to mention that his stored stores underneath uh, and uh, yeah so actually, I'm gonna transform this bad boy and I will let you know what I think and we are back here we have Capone Motormaster whatever you want to call him in his robot mode and it is fucking awesome uh, Really, really, really cartoon accurate. If you're a fan of cartoon accurate designs, uh, this is the way you're gonna wanna go. Very impressive, intuitive transformation. Definitely not difficult, okay? Uh, easy. Uh, just follow the steps and there will be no issues. He holds his weapons just fine. I mean, I can shake this guy around. He doesn't drop anything. Nothing is loose. Um, nothing... Oh, it's fucking incredible how good he is. Uh, I am going to remove his weapons. Now, just like the mainline Masterpiece figures, he has the pegs in his hands so he could hold modern Masterpiece weapons as well. So let's get into it. Um, I'll static pose him so we can talk about what we are working with here. His robot mode arms are... Are a tiny bit long I will I will say that they're kind of like mp10 where the forearms are just a tiny bit longer than they need to be looks kind of doofy but he always looked doofy in the cartoon head is on a hinge so you can look up and down you get a full 360 degree rotation so you get a, a good bit of a range there you've got two different hinges here at the shoulders so you have this hinge here, and you also have this hinge there. Both are very strong. Both have no issues holding his weapons or his weight. 
you've got a soft ratchet at the shoulder, full 360 degrees um, rotation with that. You've got a bicep swivel. You have a single bend at the elbow and it doesn't even get a full 90 degrees. Um, with all the engineering that went into this figure, I think that's, that's a little disappointing. But what are you gonna do? For something as pretty as it is, I, I think I'm gonna give it a pass. You've got wrist rotation. You can also come in at the wrist. Thumb is on its own independent hinge, as is the pointer finger. These three fingers here are pinned together. They are typewriter type fingers, so uh, you're only going to really keep him in a uh, closed fist or a sort of relaxing hand pose. There is an ab crunch, which gives you this much of a bend. There is full waist rotation. You can get this close to a full Van Dam. Thigh swivel is there. No knee swivel. However, there is beautiful bend at the knee and they sculpted in this knee joint. So it, it looks really nice. There is an ankle tilt. There is no up and down movement at the foot. So that is that. Look how much, by the way, in the background, if you can see it, look how much of this trailer is not used in Motormaster's main robot mode. That's a lot of trailer. Uh, cool little details. You've got the three wheels that come up just like in the cartoon, and the back is absolutely gorgeous. There is no issues here. There's no kibble. There's nothing lying around. Uh, really stellar job here with the bot mode for Motormaster. And now for just a really quick size comparison. All right, here he is with the Takara Tomy Masterpiece Megatron. Uh, these guys look great together. They look like they just jumped off the screen. He has more heft to him than the official Takara product. Um, he's definitely got some weight to him. I did forget to mention he comes with a small little bio card. Nothing too crazy. Uh, what I want to do now, I'm going to transform that into Manosaur's body and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so his trailer has been transformed into the giant Menasaur mode. Uh, this bot does fold up and sort of Power Master Prime into the back of Capone. Um, I just left him here for your, I guess, viewing pleasure. Just so you can get an idea as to the scale of this fucking thing. It's huge. It's huge. Now, I don't know what I did wrong, but for some reason, this, this hinge here is completely locked up um, in here. So I get no motion in this thigh uh, outward. The head is on a swivel. Uh, let's see if I can get this. I might have to... Uh, yep, we're going to Star Wars it, folks. It's going to be like... Whew. So the head is on a swivel. It looks up and down. Turns around. There is a compartment here for batteries so that light, the eyes light up. So great range of motion at the head. I don't know what the range of motion at the hands are going to be because I don't have any of the other bots that connect to him. But for now, there's a very strong ratchet which would allow him to go the full 360 degrees. His shoulder comes up. There is a bicep swivel. They sculpted pistons into the elbow, which is awesome. Elbows are on a great gear. Again, we don't know how much they're going to really work because I don't have any cars attached. All of his fingers are individually um, articulated, so they fing. 
There is wrist rotation as well. Very, 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 very tight figure. Okay, very tight. Um, there he is holding his massive sword. All right, just so you can get a sense of scale with this. Again, that's Masterpiece Megatron, and that is Menasaur. I'm going to reconnect my phone really quick to the tripod so I can give you the leg articulation. Okay, so here we are with the lower extremities. Now, remember that beetle I showed you before? That guy, that little bugger, transforms into a BFG for Manasaur. So really cool that they gave it a use. Um, let me just remove this big fucking sword. So you do get a waist rotation. It does go a full 360 degrees. There is a thigh swivel. You can kick back and forth. And there is a bend at the knee. There is also an ankle tilt. So this guy, aside from right here, that's where I locked. I don't know how the hell I locked the spring. Um, Maybe I'll unscrew it and try to figure it out. For now, I'm just going to put it in a, you know, bendy knee pose and I'll figure it all out. Now there's one thing I really, really need to show you guys. This figure comes with a plethora of good things, okay? We can agree that there is a lot of good shit here. This here is Masterpiece Black Arachnia. Okay? She retails for the exact same cost that you would get for all of this. 3P is really stepping their game up and giving you a reason as to why you don't have to succumb to whatever it is that Hasbro and Takara are throwing at you just because they're the big dogs. Now it's your choice as to whether or not you want to get this figure. I love him. I'm thoroughly impressed and I'm going to keep this guy around in my collection. Now usually I would tell you I bought this from my sponsors at Big Tin Robot Toys and Collectibles down in the link below, but I didn't. I won this in an online raffle at TF Game Group. That link's down below as well. Um, absolutely stellar group of guys. The shipping was quick. I got it in three days over the New Year's break. I can't, I can't recommend them enough. Um, the raffle I joined in was Tim Reagan's. He was top notch. He was a, you know, I mean, he reached out immediately after the uh, raffle went off and made sure that everything was set up and shipped it out as quickly as possible. And I just can't thank you enough. So Tim, thank you. Anyway, guys, this is my Capone review, DX9 Toys. It is badass, it is awesome. I definitely, definitely recommend this guy. As always, check out my sponsors, Big Tin Robot at the link below. Check out my Patreon, help me buy shit I don't need so you can decide if you need it. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. This is Billy the Kid signing off.